Hey folks, uh, we're getting ready for a module 18 test. Now we only did modules uh, uh, 18, 1, 2, and 3, so 4 and 5 are, are reserved for Integrated Math 3. So if you are at a school that's doing that, that won't be on this one. That'll have to be uh, next year when I put that in my IM3 class. Anyways, don't forget all your groovy lessons can be found at that awesome website right there. Okay, so this uh, should get you ready for the types of questions on tomorrow's test. So let's go ahead and get started. So write each ratio. Okay, well first thing we've got to do is figure out this uh, th uh, third side right here. So 8 squared plus, um, we'll call it x, x squared equals 17 squared. Or recognize that's an 8, 15, 17 right triangle. Uh, it's a p-triple, okay? So now we can find the, the sine of A, okay? So Sakatoa, S-O-H, uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So here's angle A, so here's the opposite side, here's the hypotenuse, so it's 15 over 7, okay? And that's all they need, the ratio. It doesn't say find the angle, it says write the ratio, okay? And the cosine of A. Cosine is um, adjacent over hypotenuse, okay? So some old hippie caught another hippie taking old apples, okay? So adjacent is 8, and then the hypotenuse is still 17, 8 17 and then the tangent of C, okay, so tangent is taking old apples opposite over adjacent, so it's not using the, the hypotenuse, okay? So here's C, so opposite over adjacent is 8 over 15. Whoops, I got it upside down, don't I? So tangent of, of C is 8 over 15. Let me fix that there. So 8 over 15. All right. Sorry about that. I make mistakes all the time. My kiddos correct me all the time. All right. So given uh, triangle CDF with uh, angle F being the 90 degree angle right there, so we have a right triangle right there. If the tangent of one of our complementary angles is given, find the tangent of the other um, acute angle. Okay. All right. So here we go. So it says the tangent of angle C is 0.4. Okay, well, a couple of things. Draw a generic triangle, okay? A, B, or A, B, C, C, D, F. Make sure, make sure your F is the 90 degrees, okay? And we could have put uh, C up here and D down here. Just draw a generic uh, triangle right there, okay? All right, and then we got to get the, remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, so what fraction gets us 0.4? Well, 0.4 is four tenths that ends in the tenths spot so four tenths reduces to two fifths okay so opposite over adjacent okay so opposite over adjacent so that that's the tangent of c so this is saying find the tangent of the other acute angle so it's going to be opposite over adjacent so five over two okay we could use the Pythagorean theorem also and get this side right here and get some radical let's see that's uh, two squared is four twenty five uh, so this is the square root of 29, so if I asked for, say, the sine of C, the sine of C would be 2 over root 29, okay, and then you'd rationalize that, but it's, it just says uh, find the tangent of the other one. All right, so the tangent of D, uh, remember, is opposite over adjacent, so it's 3, which is 3 over 1, so again, draw a generic triangle and put... Uh, opposite over adjacent so here is opposite over adjacent right there so the tangent of this angle is going to be opposite over adjacent so one-third right there okay all right you'll have a couple of those on the test so find the value of x round uh, side lengths to the nearest tenth and angles to the nearest degree okay this is Sakatoa so s-o-h-c-a-h-t-o-a -A. so they want us to uh, find x so here's an angle here is a side opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. So opposite hypotenuse, this is a sine ratio. So the sine of 59 is opposite over hypotenuse, okay? And then find the sine of 59, cross multiply, and you get about 14.6, okay? All right, uh, okay, so this one here, the hypotenuse is not being considered on this triangle right here, so this is a tangent ratio, okay? So the tangent of 40 is opposite over adjacent, so 20 over x right there. Find the tangent of 40, cross multiply, and then we have to divide, so I get about 23.8, okay? All right, so here... Uh, looks like we're looking for the angle right here. So this is adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse is cosine. So the cosine of x equals uh, 20 over 23. Find the decimal of that. 
And then so this is saying the cosine of some angle gives us this decimal right there. So uh, we got to do shift cosine or second function cosine. It's going to give us the cosine to the negative one. This says inverse cosine right here. Okay, so when we do that in our calculator, make sure you're in degrees right there. You get about um, almost 30 degrees right there, okay? So it's close to a 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right, find the lengths of the sides. Leave answers as a radical in simplest form. So these are special right triangles, 30, 60, 90s, and 45, 45, 90s. Okay, all right, so here's the rules right here. Whoops, let me go back here. I went a little bit too fast. Okay, here's the rules. 30, 60, 90s. If you know the shorter leg, which is opposite the 30, Okay, so if this is 60, this is 30, so th this is the shorter leg, then the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg, and the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. All right, so this is 8 root 3, and that's 16 right there, okay? All right, let's try another one. Okay, this time they give us the hypotenuse, so we got to go backwards and take half, so 11 halves, and then this is going to be 11 halves root 3, okay? Or just 11 root 3 over 2. Now you can, I don't care if you write 4 point or 5.5, that's fine. Okay, 5.5 root 3, I'm okay with that. So some teachers probably are not, that's all right. Okay, here's another one right here. This time they give us the longer leg. So the root 3 is hiding in this longer leg. So we have to divide by root 3. Well, since 8 is not divisible by root 3, we've got to go ahead and multiply it by root 3 over root 3, and we get 8 root 3 over 3, okay? So that's what this is right here. And then we're going to double that, multiply it by 2, and get 16 root 3 over 3 for uh, the hypotenuse. All right, let's try some 45s, okay? 45, 45, 90. Okay, so whatever that side is, that's the same. So if that's 14, that's 14. This is 14 root 2, okay? Uh, let's try this. Okay, so the root 2 is hiding in there because the hypotenuse always has the root 2. So if we divide this by root 2, the trick is you divide it by 2. So 18 divided by 2 is 9, and then tag a root 2 with it, okay? So we get 9 root 2, okay? So that's what x is, and, and they're both x, so that's what x is, okay? All right, so here, you guys, uh, we want to find x over here, okay? So if this is 8 root 15, this is 8 root 15 root 2, okay? So that gets me 8 root 30, and root 30 is 2 times 3 times 5, so nothing comes out on that. Okay, and then so this is the shorter leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg. So we're going to take this and multiply it by root 3. So x equals uh, 8 root 30, root 3, and then clean that up. So here's 30 right here, 2 times 3 times 5, it's 6 times 5, okay? And then so two 3's come out, it's going to get paired up with that uh, 8 on the outside right there, and we get uh, 24 root 10. All right, so let's see. Mary's planning to fence her backyard. Uh, every side of her yard except for the side along the house is going to be fenced. So if the fencing costs $3.50 per yard, uh, how much will the fencing cost? Okay, let's take a look. So here's Mary's house right here. So she's not going to put a fence against the house because we don't need to worry about that right there. But the fence is going to go here, here, and then all the way here, okay? So what we need to do is first find the length of KL right there, okay? So the total fencing needed is that blue stuff right there. So here's uh, my right triangle to find the length of KL. Now, are you okay where 11 came from? Okay, I did 23 minus 12, so this is the rest of the 23, so that's 11. All right, so here's 32 opposite hypotenuse. That is a sine ratio, so if we go ahead and solve, we get x to be about uh, 20.76, okay? And that's uh, what KL is, all right? So let's go ahead and add them up. So it's going to be 12 plus 20.76 plus this 23 down here, and that's how much fencing Mary needs. And then we multiply that by $3.50 right there, and that'll give us uh, how much uh, it's going to cost her. All right, you guys, hey, good luck on your test uh, tomorrow. I hope you guys do well. Take care.